Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my debut on my uh, YouTube channel. It's called Financial Empowerment with Brother Ro. And so I started this channel on the 1st of January 2021. And I welcome each and every one. And in doing so, I would like you to hit the subscribe button and smash the like. And this will help this channel to get off the ground. I have started. And uh, to be honest with you, I was a bit intimidated to start. Why? Because um, I am not a tech savvy guy. I didn't understand computers too good. I didn't know how to upload a YouTube video, how to do Facebook Live. I am a late bloomer. I bought my first stock, individual stock that is, at the age of 60, nine months ago. And so I decided I'm going to do a YouTube channel. And um, there was some fear and doubts or whatever, like everything else. And so I said, I don't want to have to put my portfolio out there for everyone to see. And uh, one of the other factors was, um, you know, in the month of March of 2020, I did Facebook Live for the first time and some days I came on uh, upside down with the phone ringing in the middle of what I was doing and, you know, and then too, um, I realized too that I did not know enough about uh, stocks and trading and I thought I had to be perfect uh, in terms of uh, starting. I didn't know what was a growth stock or dividend stock. I didn't know how to buy and sell a trade, uh, sell a stock. I, 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 you know, I felt like I didn't know much about options. And in, 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 in options, we have what you call a credit spread and the iron candle and the iron butterfly and how to sell a put and how to buy a call. And, you know, it was just too much overwhelming for me uh, starting this late. Now, I do had an investment before in what we call an IRA and, you know, mutual fund, but buying stock for the first time, it was a, man, a challenge. And so, yeah, but finally, I've made the start because uh, there's a saying, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And so start where you are, do the best you can, and let the chips fall where it may. And so, yes, I am here and I have started. And what I want to do is to take you on my journey as I journey. I have learned so much in the past nine months. I self-taught. I, I, I bench-watched YouTube. I uh, looked at CNBC almost every day. I read, re I read, 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 read all the time. And so there's a saying, if you increase your learning, you will increase your earning. If you double your uh, learning, you will triple your earning. And so I started doing that. And I said, you know what? I realized I'm going to do this channel to add value to people. And I will do this channel to empower others. You know, it was uh, the former uh, Federal Reserve, uh, uh, um, Alan Greenspan, uh, who says that the number one problem in the world today among uh, this generation uh, and the economy is financial uh, literacy. And um, there was a survey done and they said 45% of Americans don't own a stock. And um, the stock market worldwide is a $95 trillion industry. You know, American every day in February 2018, it says that they traded on a daily basis $192 billion. By now, it's probably $200 billion is traded every day, and yet people are not in the game.
people are not, uh, they don't own a stock. And I says, wow, we must make an investment and make it early and make it now. So what I did, I joined Robinhood in March of 2020 when the pandemic hit America. And we are uh, here in New York was the epicenter and you being home and not able to go anywhere, I decided to download the app called Robinhood and my first deposit, guess what, was $10. I said, let me try this thing, let me see if it work. And then I decided to deposit 500, and then I deposit 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000. And I said, you know what, man? I am not traveling. I usually travel four or five times for the year. I usually buy suits and clothes, and I wasn't going anywhere. So what I did with that money, I took it and I invested in the market. And you know, over the years, the stock market has been around for more than 200 years, and over the years, the stock market always go up whether it's a bull uh, uh, run or, or a bear run, whether it's a pullback, a dip, a recession, at the end of the day, the market goes up. So what I wanna do today, I wanna show you my portfolio, how I started in March uh, with zero, and I'm on my way to 100,000, 100K. And I set a goal to have $100,000 by uh, the month of March 2021. That will be my one year anniversary. And so I got in the market and basically I did three things. I bought dividend paying stocks and one, one, one of these days I will do a, a, a video on that. I bought growth stocks and I learned options and that helped me tremendously. And I want to take you into this and uh, let you see. Now, people say, I cannot afford to invest. Well, let me tell you something. You cannot afford not to invest because you don't want to be packing shelves at 70 years, 72 years at Walmart. You got to invest for your future. And I tell you what, you can either invest in real estate, invest in a business or the stock market, but to invest, you should. You know, it is said that um, people that make over $100,000 in America, 84% invest in the stock market. Those who make less than 40,000 a year, only 22% invest in the stock market. You know, so that is really something. People need to invest. Now, you know, as a young person, you have time to invest. Time is your friend, time is your ally. So instead of buying a Nike sneakers for 300, why don't you invest in Nike, the company, and buy a share? You know, and because Nike is a very good stock, it's trading for uh, over hundred dollars a share. I could imagine what was the price when they went IPO. So what I want to do is to just uh, take you to my portfolio, and I'm, I'm not doing this to brag. I'm just doing this to to let you know I'm a regular guy. I'm not a hedge fund manager. I'm not a Wall Street broker. I'm not a RIA, a registered investment advisor. I am just a regular guy that uh, late bloomer went into the market at the age of 60 and I started to invest and I love it. And uh, I'm telling you, I want to uh, show you, teach you, take you on this journey. And I will tell you when I make a mistake. I will tell you when I, when I mess up, when I make a rookie mistake, when I make a bonehead move, when I make a good move. I'm taking you on a journey. So I'm not talking down to you. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it too. You know? So, um, yeah, um, I decided to get this thing going. And I was uh, really hesitant to start. And I said, if I make a mistake, so be it. I, I, you know, I wanted to get the lights in together. I wanted to get everything together. I didn't know how to do a thumbnail. And, it, you know, I spent hours, man. So that's what I'm saying. Hit the like button. Hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button and, and, and support uh, your boy, Brother Roo. And so in the description box, you will see some links. And let me tell you quickly about the three links that are there. Uh, one is Robinhood. You join Robinhood and you will get a free stock and I will get a free stock. Okay? Uh, my wife got a free stock. It was about five bucks. Now it's about 20 bucks. So listen, you got to start somewhere. 
and there's another link for uh, Webull. I have a small account in Webull. My main portfolio is in Robinhood. Webull, if you sign up with Webull, you get two free stocks. I get two free stocks. And with Acorn, I had Acorn a while ago. I, I withdraw from Acorn about three times. But Acorn is also an investment uh, app that basically what happened is your loose change, you put it into Acorn. Uh, I, I've gone beyond that. Now I'm, I'm making a monthly investment in Acorn. And they mostly do ETF. Uh, um, you know, exchange traded funds. But let's say you buy something for nineteen dollars and ten cents. What happened? The ninety cents goes into Acorn. You're not going to see that. You're not going to feel that. So, so you have to start. You have to start. It's like saying, "I want to join the gym." I'm going to start saying, "I want to lose weight." You just got to get your foot in the door, get your feet wet, and you got to start this journey. And I want to take you on this journey with me okay so hit those link and get started and get started now let's look at my portfolio on the 31st of um december 2020 uh when the year closed the market opened uh the, the market closed on that day the 31st of, of december 2020 at 1 p.m eastern standard time so let's see when i started in um the month of uh march uh, to this present time, my portfolio, and um, I'm on my way to 100 uh, key. Now, let's look at uh, that day, uh, Thursday, the 31st of December. Um, the market, I, I lost, uh, I went down 1.54%, uh, uh, and so um, uh, I lost $1,295, basically. And after I was trading, uh, my portfolio went up by $120. Okay, uh, for the week, um, <clears throat> well, let me tell you something about the market. The market can be volatile sometimes. It can go up, it can go down. But the game is long, the long game, investing in terms of long-term investment. All right? And I'm not going to be withdrawing from this uh, 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 portfolio anytime soon I want to build on this portfolio and I want to take it to the sky now um, for the week I was down four thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars and eight cents which is five point four nine percent that's the past week oh uh, I was in the red so now for the past month as a matter of fact November month was the best month in the stock market since 1987 almost 33 years ago november just took off and so for that month i made let me see here uh the past month nine thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars and seventy three cents and for the past three months um yeah it was up by 44 percent twenty five thousand basically a little over eight thousand a month you know you put that money in the bank how much you think the bank is going to give you on a CD, 1.2%? You're lucky. I mean, that's peanuts. A certificate of deposit. I really call it a certificate of disaster. You know, so it's good to invest in the market. Or like, like, let's say you invest in real estate. You bought a house in 1980, uh, 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 40 years ago. You paid, what, 100000 for it? Right now, it's probably worth 800000 So you keeping your money in a savings account, uh, it cannot keep up with inflation or cost of living. So you got to invest that money, all right, because of time decay, because of inflation. So yeah, so now um, for the year, for the year, I'm um, up 56.3%. Uh, uh, Five three percent, which is like about thirty thousand dollars. So that's ten shares I bought. I should have bought more. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You kick yourself in the foot. You can't time the market. Somebody says it's not timing the market. It's time in the market. You know you can't just get bent out of shape watching the market go up and go down. You set it and you leave it. All right. And so this is a beautiful thing. Um, let's look at uh, another stock that I have here. Um, let's look at Apple. 
Apple. And, and, and the thing about it, I didn't know much about I didn't know much about the, 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 the stock market, but I'm telling you, you don't have to be, you know, a genius, an expert. You, you buy some good stocks, uh, some quality stocks, and you leave it there, and basically it's going to go up. Apple is a trillion dollar company, two point something trillion is their, their cap, their, their value. And um, yeah, so I bought Apple. Before the split, Apple split for in you know, Apple split us when when it was I think about probably about almost two months ago. But um, I, I I got into Apple, and I bought that on the cheap also, and um, so I have here uh, fifty nine shares in Apple, almost sixty shares. And the beautiful thing about Apple, Apple is a growth stock, but it's also a dividend paying stock. All right. Whereas we have the big five, Google, uh, Microsoft, um, uh, what is it, Amazon, and so forth, Facebook. The only two out of the big five that pays a dividend is um, Apple and Microsoft. Facebook, uh, uh, Tesla, and the Google, and Amazon, they don't pay dividends. So this is a beautiful thing because Apple now is a growth stock, solid company, and it still pays a dividend. It still pays a dividend. So you see here, look here with Apple, <clears throat> they pay a 0 0.60 dividend. What it is, when you when you buy into Apple, you become a shareholder and you, you take part in their profit sharing. So every three months, Apple will um, pay you for having a share in their company. And so um, what you do when you get that share, I do, I reinvest. And one of these days, I will do a video on compound interest. So it's a beautiful thing, you know, to own that Apple. You get growth and you get dividend. Now, let's look at Apple. The CEO is Tim Cook. All right. We hear about Tim Cook all the time. He took over from Steve Jobs. The market cap, $2.26 trillion. That is the GDP of some, not just third world countries, man. Apple is huge. And everything Apple touches turned to gold. Apple is talking now about getting into the EV space. And wow, they have 147,000 employees and so forth. The headquarters is in California. It was founded in um, 1976 and so forth. But yeah, the average... Uh, price I paid for Apple was $110 a share and I have almost 60 shares. It cost me $6,582.57 and my total return is 20% and I'm up $1,356. So it's a beautiful thing. And how I um, made um, my profit was by having the stocks grow and um, by getting dividend and by options. So um, I will uh, talk to you again. I will show you another uh, video. And um, yeah, um, let me say this to the, to the young people. Let me look into uh, Nike and see something here just quick. Uh, Nike, uh, Nike, yeah. You know, Jordans, wow, everybody wants to be like Mike. So Nike is going for what? $141 a share. You know, and Nike is up. And I tell you what, instead of buying a 300 sneakers, buy a share in Nike. Let's look at the past uh, year and see how Nike did. When the, when the crash came in, 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 in March, Nike was $62.80 a share. If you had bought Nike, guess what? Guess what? It would have doubled. It would have doubled. So that's what I'm saying. When the market dip, you don't sell, you buy on the down low. You know? And look at what Nike is, 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 is going for. You know? It's a beautiful thing. And guess what? They give you a dividend also. Now they pay you, they pay you, they pay you a dividend of 0.69%. Isn't that beautiful? Look at their market cap, $222 billion. This company is not going anywhere, even though I didn't have uh, stocks in Nike, but Nike is a buy. 
and maybe I got too much stock in my portfolio. They said the average amount you're supposed to have in your portfolio is about 30 stocks, and I have about 50 stocks. And um, I will talk, I'll do a video on that also. But hey, this is my debut. Listen, get in the game. Don't just watch others play. Don't just be a spectator, be a participator. Don't pay to watch others play. People that play, they get paid for people to watch them play. Why don't you get in the game and get paid to play? All right? So I encourage you to get, get a, start with $100. Start with $50. Join, join Robinhood. Start with a free stock. But you got to start and do something. All right? So enjoy. This is your boy, uh, uh, um, uh, Brother Ro, saying I will come out in a couple more days with another video and we'll take a look at my portfolio and see what uh, the market does on um, Monday. All right. So take care. Um, all the best. And I will talk to you. Whoa, I made it. This is my debut. No turning back. Now we get this out of the way. We're going forward. And, and I tell you, I'll probably make some mistakes and some glitches, but it's okay. I don't know how to edit videos right now. So I'm just doing it like that. And, and, and if I make a real terrible mistake, I'll have to do it over again until I learn to edit my videos. I see some folks on YouTube, they are just pros. These millennials, they are sharp like that. So please bear with your boy. Hey, it's a late start, and, um, and but I'm, 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 I'm in the game, and um, I'll see you, all right? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and I will talk to you. Bye now, bye now, bye now. Okay, okay, this is it.